This is my first time vlogging on my camera, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. But it's move-in day, finally, and we're just about to leave to drive to London. We're just packing up the last things in the car, which is very full. Um, and we should arrive around midday, which is when we can pick up the keys. As you can see, it's super sunny today. We've literally picked one of the hottest days of the year to move. Um, so I've just popped on a gym set because we're going to have to carry a lot of stuff. And I think this is from White Fox Boutique. Bye bye dressing room. As you can see, I've actually left quite a lot of stuff. Um, just did not have room to take all of it. Just saying bye to my bestie. You go look. Apparently my new name is Isabel. Halfway there. We are in and there's a lot of stuff. So we're just unpacking our stuff and settling into the flat and as you can see behind me I've had a huge delivery from Dusk who very kindly sent me everything I need for my flat, my bedding, my towels. I was really excited when I found them because they're sort of a more affordable luxury homeware brand so really good for your first time moving out um, and some of their pieces are really really nice so I can't wait to see them. So the first box is my pillows. These are, I believe, goose down and I went for firm because I really want that sort of hotel vibe. Two in there. Second box. So this is my mattress topper um, and I got a Supreme goose down topper which sounds so comfortable. Don't have any scissors yet so I'm using a knife. So this is my duvet. I, again, got a Supreme goose down duvet. Last one, this one's really heavy. So I got three decorative cushions and I got some really nice cushion covers, so I can't wait to see them. So I got matching towels. I went with the Monaco style, which is like this, and white. So I got two bath towels, two hand towels, and two face towels, and they all match, which is really nice. More towels. More towels. More towels. I'm not going to run out of towels. So these are my cushion covers. These are black velvet and they have white piping on the edge, which I think is so nice and so me. This is a fitted sheet. And then for my actual bed set, I went with the Pimplico set, which is the striped bedding you normally find in a hotel. As I said, I really wanted that hotel vibe. Um, so that's what I went for. So I've got a double duvet and then I've got four pillows. So it's Sunday morning. I've just woken up in the flat for the first time, which was so exciting. And today I didn't vlog as much as I wanted to. It was a pretty hectic day. Um, and I basically crashed and fell asleep at like 10 o'clock. So didn't get much vlogs I wanted to, but it was a really fun day. I can't believe this is my flat and I'm gonna share what I'm getting up to today. tag for my keys because I've already lost them three times. I don't know if I should go for the black or the white but I think we're going to go with the white. Kettles and toasters were all out of stock so we're going to have to order those online but now we're going to go and buy some nice candles and hopefully diffuser but I just don't know which brand that one. Oh my god if you haven't tried one of these Noop's 34% chocolate milkshakes run and get one now so this afternoon i went home shopping i went to h&m home and then i went to space nk i didn't get loads because obviously i had to carry it back so i'm gonna order some more stuff online so from h&m home i got a marble chopping board and it was only 25 pounds so i think it's pretty good and our work tops are gray and our cupboards are white so this is going to match perfectly then i also got some matching white coaster for the living room which is sort of white and grey as well, so it kind of works. They're just like that, and you get four in a pack. They were like 20 pounds as well. Then I got some placemats for the table. Chairs are grey, dark grey, so I thought these would match well. And then I got this fabric freshener. I can just sort of spray it on the sofas and on the bed. It smells really nice. I was really impressed with H&M Home. I've never been in there. 
So then I went to Space NK because some of my lovely friends got me a really nice move-in present, which was the Byredo hand soap. So I got the hand cream to match. So now I have a really cute set to go in my bathroom. Really nice, smells super good. I got the scent suede. And then I got a room spray because I didn't have any diffusers and I already have a couple of the Diptyque candles. So I wanted to get everything to match. Tonight we're gonna do some online shopping. I need to get a kettle and a toaster. The ones I saw earlier were out of stock. Um, and we need some outdoor furniture. I need bedside tables. There were bedside tables here when I got here but they are the bedside tables I despise, which are like silver mirrored with like the diamond knobs and I just couldn't deal with them. So I did force my parents to take those back and store them and I'm just gonna order some nice white ones. So lots to buy, super exciting and I can't wait to have everything finished. So it's all ready to show you. So it's Wednesday now. I've been working in the flat this morning. I've had loads of really exciting deliveries this afternoon, so I'm going to unbox some things now. Honestly, every day here is like Christmas. This is how many parcels we've had today, and I am most excited about these two. So we went for the white Smeg kettle and toaster, which is gonna look so nice in the kitchen, because obviously the cabinets are white, and we have the white coffee machine in the corner too. So I'm gonna open these now and see how they look. the white toaster and here is the white kettle how cute is that here they are and they match the kitchen perfectly so now I'm gonna to attempt to build two bedside tables which I just got from Ikea so they're flat packs there's gonna be stuff everywhere so I will come back when they're finished so the bedside tables are done only took about four hours but we got there and now my bedside tables are in, I can show you my whole setup. And this is my bedding from dusk, which is absolutely beautiful. So it's Friday today and I'm off on my last client visit of the week. I'm going to Cellier to make some TikTok content. And this morning I've just been working in the flat and tonight I'm going out. And then tomorrow is lots more unpacking. I'm yet to unpack my wardrobe, all my shoes and bags and all my bathroom stuff. So tomorrow's gonna be a fun day. Anyway, I thought I'd show you my outfit of the day because I'm really loving this outfit at the moment. So this bodysuit is from Zara and this is just a little skirt from Zara as well, which is really good for walking around London and being on the tube. And then I'm actually wearing my coach bag today, which I never really get to wear. Um, so I'm excited to wear her today. So I walked over to my client's office today because it's so nice and sunny. If you watch my Come to Buy Chanel Bag With Me vlog, you'll know that this is where I got my Chanel bag from and now they're one of my clients. Literal bag heaven today at Cellier. Here's Maya. She's our TikTok star on the Cellier TikTok. This is what I come in and get Maya to do. So I just got back from my client visit and I'm gonna unbox my new mirror which is behind me. William Wood have very kindly sent me this mirror. They have loads of other cool ones. So definitely check them out. And I can't wait to see what it looks like. So it's now Saturday and I've officially been here for a whole week. I can't believe it, it's gone so quickly, but the best time and every time I come home I still feel so excited. So today I'm finally getting a chance to unpack all of my clothes into my wardrobe and my shoes and my bags and I'm also going to unpack all of my toiletries and cosmetics, makeup, perfume, stuff like that into my bathroom. So I thought it would be fun to unpack my wardrobe together. I basically have half hangers and the other half is shelves, so I'm gonna start by putting away my clothes. I bought plenty of hangers with me, and I also bought these sort of box things from Ikea. I'm gonna pop those either at the top or the bottom and then hang up what I can. So I'm gonna start by putting away my dresses because they definitely need to be hung. This is literally one of my favorite dresses ever. It's from Jane and Tash, and it's the black Lurex dress. It's so fun. I wore it in Paris recently, and I'm gonna wear it loads over the party season two. Thank you. 
Okay, this is one of my all-time favourite dresses. This is from Mesh Key, and it's literally just a little white A-line mini dress. You dress it up for the night time, or you can wear it in the day, and I just think it looks super sophisticated. And my favourite blazer of all time has got to be the Odd Muse Ultimate Muse blazer. And Odd Muse is actually one of my clients now, which is amazing because I truly, truly love the brand. And if you've been following me since I started social media, you will know how much I wear my black one. So I'm about halfway there and we're half full. So it's looking promising. favourite of mine are the Nadine Marabi fluffy satin pyjama sets. I think I have these in every single colour now and they're just so nice to throw on when you're at home all day. They make you feel super fancy and they're really comfortable as well. I wore these on Christmas and I wore these on Valentine's Day this year. Putting my clothes away took a lot longer than expected, but it's done now and I'm going to move on to putting away my shoes and my bags, which is obviously the best part. So now I've put away all my clothes and all my shoes and my bags, I can finally put away my toiletries, so all my makeup, cosmetics, skincare, somehow needs to fit into these two cabinets. I just need to be strategic about where I put everything. So the skincare I'm actually using at the moment is a mix of CeraVe, which I've used since I was like 14, and actually one of my new clients, so Monday Muse. Started about two years ago and they've been so successful. They're already in Harris Beauty, they're in Gallery Lafayette. And we've got some more exciting things in the pipeline. I use their cleanser, the gloss, which is actually a scalp oil. Um, if you don't know about scalp oiling, look it up. It's really interesting. They've got the nectar, which is a non-clogging facial oil. And they also have the juice, which is an everyday moisturizing serum. So I've been using those for the past month now, but I am just a big CeraVe fan. But if you're looking for something a little bit more bougie, this is definitely your answer. And like I said, I'm a massive fan of the CeraVe products. I use the foaming cleanser, I have the micellar water, I use their eye cream, and they also just brought out a AM facial moisturizer, which also has SPF in. So if you're like me and you're always in a rush, this one is super handy. I've lost the lid. Um, but it's got SPF 50 in which you should wear every single day. So if you didn't know already, oh, if you didn't know already, I'm a big fan of Saint Tropez. I always use the Lux Whipped Mousse Fake Tan, and I also use the Express Tan when I'm in a rush. I'm obsessed with lipstick, lip gloss, anything that goes on my lips. Also love the Tom Ford lipsticks. I mean, look how beautiful that is. This is the colour Blush Nude, which I only just got the other day, so I haven't used it yet, but look how gorgeous that is. Okay, I've got half a shelf left to fill in this one, but I'm not sure what to put in there. So I'm gonna start doing my other cupboard, which is gonna be mainly hair care. Um, and then I'm going to come back and see what else I need to fill. So I've been religiously using the Christopher Robin products on my hair. I've been using these for about three months now. No, maybe four or five. It's the hydrating range, so I have the hydrating. This is a big one, which is good because it will last me ages. And then I have a couple of the other products as well that have just been sent along the way. My absolute cult product, if you said you could only use one thing on the hair for the rest of your life, would definitely be Moroccan oil. This stuff is like magic in a bottle, I swear.
finally finished. That was actually really fun. Um, and now I'm gonna finish filling the tubs at the top and then just see what I have left and where I have room for it. So I'm all unpacked. I'm gonna insert my little tour now, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.